Okay, um, quick video on swishes. Excuse my nails, I've been pouring blue silicone today. Um, I'm dotting a skull. I know it's not everybody's favourite. Um, she is halfway through being done. I'm using mainly um, Shuttle Art acrylics, um, the metallic and the colour shift range. What I want to do is, I'm not going to show you how to paint her, what I want to show you is how to create long um, swooshes in various different patterns. Um, main tools that I use are um, obviously the dotting tools. Um, I couldn't tell you the sizes, I just know them by colour. And then we have also got my favourite tool, I've got two of them. Um, and they are these, they look a little bit like um, offensive weapons. They are available on Amazon. Um, if anybody wants to know what they are, I have a link for them. Okay, so let's just do, start on the side. Everything on this skull is symmetrical. So everything obviously on one side is the same on the other. So I'm gonna do, I'm starting to come through with blue at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna bring the slightly darker blue through. Um, I'm just going to show you how I personally do swooshes. Um, and for me, the main key is the amount of paint you put on. Um, obviously, the consistency is something that's quite important, but it is about paint. So if I just turn her slightly this way, so I'm just going to bring... I'll show you once I've done it. I'm just going to put my dotting tool into my paint and I'm just going to pick up so I'm not dotting into it I'm picking up my paint and I'm going to place the dot where I want it to be but that's not enough it needs at least I'd say at least three squidges very technical of paint um, take our weapon and then where we've got Let's see if I can get the right angle. Where we've got our paint, I'm drawing sort of an outline with my tool. Push it around. And then use the paint and just create the shape you want. And the, re the good thing about it is if you've got enough paint here and on your swoosh you can make the size and the shape that you want so that's that side I'm just going to quickly turn her over um, I said she is a she is a skull so she's difficult to hold sometimes just got to remember where I've been so I'm putting just see if I can move the camera slightly just so that so I'm putting the swoosh there. So I'm just going to mark where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to pick my paint up. And I'm putting it on. Putting some more. So you've got that nice amount of paint on your dot. And then, once again, use your, use your tool and just push where you want your swoosh to go. So we're following this pink coloured one. And we've got a lot of paint here so we can move the paint and we can push it around until it does pretty much what we want it to do. Okay. So that's one side. Ah. And there you go, put my finger in it. So all I'm going to do, just to show, always have baby wipes ready. Take off where you've put your finger in it. I am renowned for doing it. And once again, just re-swoosh. Remember where we've been. So pick your paint up. If you can see how much I've got on here and we're forming that 
little lump. There we go. I'm going to take our tool, let's get rid of our, and with our tool, we are following the pink. Following the pink. There you go. And then use the baby wipe that I've just got out. Always comes in handy, always have tea towels. Mr. Devon is forever shouting at me for using all the tea towels. I'm just gonna change the color. So we're gonna go, just so that you can see the various colors that I'm using and how I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna stop it to me slightly and then you can see it. So once again, big lump. See how that peaks? I mean, it seems like we've got a lot of paint, which is good because it means that we can move the paint. I'm sort of bending this one around the blue. And then we're pulling our paint. So we're taking it from the top where you've placed it and we're just pulling it to shape it and you can keep going back to the top almost to pick up a little bit more paint and bring it around and then there is yet another swoosh okay we're going to swap sides trying not to put our fingers in and having to wipe it off and then remember where we are, so we're putting our big dots on, and then we're going to fill our dot up. And the good thing about this as well is that you almost get that, that raised 3D look on your swooshes. So once again, we're bringing it around the blue. Take a little bit from the top and bring your top swoosh. And this sort of theory works with all, all swooshes. And then if I just turn her around just so that you can see the two swooshes that we've just done. We've just done this blue and this blue and this one and this one. Um, I probably will do another video soon on a flat surface, which would maybe make it easier. Um, but at the moment, this is her, and this is how she looks with her swishes.